Welcome to the Invasive Species Action Network's fly tying series on invasive pests. Invasive species are a problem globally, both affecting our economies and ecosystems. If you would like to learn more about invasive pests, stick with us at the end of the video. We're tying a spotted lanternfly, which has been classified as an invasive species. As a bit of disclaimer, we want to say that the fly was tied for educational purposes and really is not durable for fly fishing. I don't doubt that it wouldn't catch a fish, but if you did, it would be one fish and done. So let's start off here. We have a size uh, 2XL number 6 hook, and we're going to form a uh, thread base. Some loose wraps all the way back to the bend. I also want to add here that the information about the lantern fly, its coloration and uh, size specifics, was available, of course, on the internet, specifically Wikipedia. It's very helpful in this endeavor. Now, the abdomen of the lantern fly is uh, rather round and fat, and what I used was a half inch leather punch on uh, the uh, foam sheet and here's the uh, end product. Two half inch discs and we're going to glue them together over the hook. And so I will try this and I'm going to use the super glue gel. Just put a little bit on there. And that goes under. Then we'll take the top. Again, use a little bit of the gel. And then hold that until it dries at which point you can trim the edges and color it. Now through the magic of pre-planning, I have done that to save time and effort. So we'll insert that in the vise. And that is essentially the abdomen of the lantern fly. Get our thread going back here. Now we're going to try, tie the thorax, and to do that, we're going to use two millimeter black foam. Um, and so we will tie the thorax, and just so you know, it does not have to be pretty, perfect. You're forming a base for the application of the wing. Usually it's two or three wraps and uh, you have the body that you're looking for, the thorax. Come back a little bit. I don't think I'm too tight on the eye. So now the next part is the wings. And this uh, requires some clever uh, crafting as opposed to fly tying. There are two sets of wings, a fore wing and an aft wing. Uh, and each of them are um, developed from taking an ordinary feather, reinforcing it with tape, and then giving it the right coloration. For the four wings, I used a uh, hand hackle, and I 
got the right length. And on the, the back side of the feather, put on a uh, piece of tape. The um, It is the uh, matte form of tape. And then what you do is you just take your scissors, cut around the feather. a little bit too much there on the stem. And then you can continue to trim. Actually, what I used was a nail clipper. Give it a nice rounded shape. Next step is then taking a uh, finer point black pen and just dot the end as per the uh, specimen in um, online. And then take an another marker with a little bit of a wider base and just add the spots, and this is what you end up with. Okay. Now, moving to the aft wing, it's the same principle, only this is a white hen feather. You know, do the same thing. We'll trim it. Well, let me do, do a little stripping of the stem here first. Now we're going to color it. And again, we're going to uh, follow the uh, coloration that's identified online. The lower half is colored red. And we take our black marker again. We're going to do the tip of the wing, a little here, and then we're going to add some spots to the red portion. Okay. We have a piece of black razor foam. that we're going to attach back of the thorax. So now we're ready to proceed with attaching the wings. And like I had mentioned, I had prepared these ahead of time so as not to uh, put you to sleep with wing preparation. Okay, then we'll take, actually we're going to clip this, these stems off. And we'll take the four wings.
yeah, I think I'm going to have to trim this now. trim that stem. See if the feather wants to turn. I'm going to take that razor foam, come over the top, and we'll give it a segment, a couple of wraps, to give it a segmented look, and we'll break that off, and it will come in and Finish the head. Give it a whip finish. Don't cooperate. And there. Certainly cement the feathers. There's the finished product. The insect tied in this video is an invasive pest, which means it's an invasive species. Invasive species are those that are introduced to a new area and when they do, they cause harm to things like our forest, agriculture, and to even native plants and animals. The spotted lanternfly was first found in Pennsylvania in 2014. It is now found in 11 nearby states. Unfortunately too, this insect really likes a lot of different plants, including 70 different species found in the US. One of its favorites is called the tree of heaven. It also likes cultivated grapes and fruit and hardwood trees. If you see an unusual insect or plant damage, you can report it using edmaps.org. Also remember, don't move firewood, just buy it where you burn it.